Hey guys, welcome to Friday. Today is my week, day of the week that I always make bread. And I've changed things up a little bit since my last bread making video two years ago. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm making bread today and how you can get three quick breads out of one uh, bread mix. So I can't wait to show you guys, come with me. Okay, so I do use a bread machine just to mix my dough. I'm not gonna bake it in there, but it allows me to be hands-free and go about my business and get bread dough risen a little bit quicker. Um, so the one change that I made is I started doubling my bread recipe. So I can get sandwich bread and other breads, whether um, it's a sweet bread or a savory bread out of one batch. So I'm just gonna add two cups of warm water um, I'm also another change I made, which is just by coincidence. In my last video, I used coconut oil to make my bread. This is um, avocado oil. So just choose a healthy oil that you would like to choose, whether it's coconut, um, avocado, sunflower, whatever you like. You could make it with vegetable oil if that's all that you had, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Six cups of flour. And then the last ingredient is two packages of fast acting um, yeast. If you're going to make bread the standard way, you could get away with using regular yeast, but for a bread machine, I think anyway, you have to use fast acting yeast from my understanding. Okay, that's that. I'm gonna turn it on the dough setting and started. This is about an hour and a half process that I can go and do other chores. I've got laundry to do and things like that. Um, so I'll see you back here in an hour and a half and let you know what kind of bread we're going to make today. Oh my gosh, it wouldn't be a cooking video with me if I didn't mess up something. I forgot two thirds cup of sugar. Let's throw that in there while it's just now stirring. Okay, <laughs> now I'm done. Okay guys, I'm back. My bread dough has risen. I'm just gonna put some oil on my countertop so I can roll it out. The first bread that we're gonna make is a sandwich bread. I'm just gonna just divide this dough in half. other half aside for now. So one of the ways that you can um, keep your bread nice and moist and not, oops, I forgot to spray my rolling pin. You don't have to flour your cook surface. You can just roll it out. And we're just going to roll it out into a rectangle. Uh, you want to roll it whatever length your bread pan is. Try to get all the air bubbles out. And uh, this will keep your bread, you know, sometimes when you bake it and you have like holes in your bread, which is purposeful when you're making sourdough bread. But for a sandwich bread, you don't really want that. So just roll it out semi rectangly. Okay, now you're just gonna start on your one side and roll it up fairly tightly. Now I use a Pullman loaf pan. That gives me a nice um, square sandwich bread like you would get at the grocery store. Just greasing the bottoms and the sides so it doesn't stick. 
we're gonna put it in here. I already have my oven set to proof. If you don't have a proof setting on your oven, you just wanna let this uh, rise for about an hour and a half till it's doubled in size. So there's the bread. Just gonna respray our surface. I got this little gift um, from for Christmas from Cameron and Claire, and I love it. It uh, I can put my own oil in here and have a aerosol type spray can. I don't seem to waste as much that way. Okay, get that other half, and we're gonna cut this in half again. Um, now this will be our one dessert for the week and we do love sweets and pastries in this house. I know not every family does, but we do. <coughs> so same thing, I'm just going to roll it out. Kind of like you were rolling cinnamon roll dough out. While the bread was rising, I took time to mix up some cream cheese filling. What's in here is one whole egg, egg yolk from another egg, uh, some softened cream cheese, and oh, a little sugar and a little vanilla. And beat that up really well. We're gonna spread this out. If you guys followed us last week on our vlog, I showed this and I also showed it on Instagram, but all I filled it with was strawberry jam. And Todd was asking, was there a way to incorporate cream cheese in it? And so somebody gave us a really great idea. So I just looked up a filling recipe for, you know, like um, cheese danishes. And that's what this is. Okay, on top of this, I have some of our homemade strawberry jam. I don't think I'm gonna be able to spread it like I did. Um. All right, this is the tricky part. We're gonna roll it up. Trying to not lose too much filling as we go. Okay, I am going to scoop some of this out. I know it's messy, but it sure tastes good. As carefully as possible, pick this up and make it a ring in our bowl. And same thing, we'll put it in the oven to rise. Okay, for this next one, I am going to make a savory bread. It's gonna be cheddar and some of our jalapeno candy. Um, I haven't made this one before, so it's just making it up as I go, and we'll see how it turns out. And <laughs> get this other half of bread out. And this we'll have with dinner tonight. Tickle in my throat. So again, while I was um, making all the bread, I went ahead and grated some cheese. So we're just going to spread the cheese down. We have our cowboy candy. up the same way. Mmm, that's gonna be good. Oops. Tuck those ends under. Alrighty. Okay, there you have it. Jalapeno cheddar. And that'll go into proof as well. So 
those will stay in the oven for about an hour and 30 minutes until they're uh, risen appropriately, and then I'll bake them. So once it's time for that, I'll show you how much I let my bread rise, um, and then we'll get to bacon, and you'll get to see how they turn out. Okay guys, rising is done, so let me show you what we got. We have the strawberry cream cheese swirl. It's doubled. This is the cheddar jalapeno and the, oops, the sandwich bread. So I'm just gonna close this up. I've got the oven preheating and I'll bring you guys back after I bake it. I'm gonna bake them at 350 for 30 minutes. I know that's enough time for my sandwich bread and I'll keep an eye on the other two and watch it from there. All right, that's it for that. Let's check on the bread and see how it... Cheddar jalapeno looks lovely. I think I'll let the strawberry one go a little longer. It looks great though. There's the sandwich bread. It didn't get quite as flat as it normally does. Didn't raise quite enough, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out for you guys and show you what it looks like. Come on. There you have it, a nice square loaf of bread. We'll just let it cool now and I'm gonna bring you guys back once the, all the breads are cooled, take a slice off and show you the inside. Okay, are you guys ready to see what it looks like? So one thing, this was the first time I made the cheddar cheese jalapeno bread. Next time I'll definitely line the pan with parchment paper because the cheese kind of oozes out and makes it want to stick to the pan. But that's what the inside looks like. And I sliced a little slice off. Looks yummy. Okay. Um, I was talking about how you don't get like air bubbles in your sandwich bread. So that's the sandwich bread. I'll just show you the inside of the whole loaf. Nice, lovely. There's a little air bubble there, but not too bad. And the best part, that strawberry goodness. So fluffy and moist. Yeah. So we're gonna enjoy this one tonight for some dessert. And I'm sure Dan will snack on it for breakfast throughout the weekend. It's her Vietnamese New Year today. Um, I think at noon today, they celebrated over in Vietnam their New Year. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just how you can get three completely different breads out of one bread mix and something fun to do. We're enjoying doing it here in our um, home. So thanks guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.